What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Before we get into this video, I want y'all to know I appreciate y'all for always tuning in and subscribing and doing the things that you do, because without y'all, it wouldn't be no me. And uh, I feel like I don't say that enough, and I had to let y'all know. Me and Pikachu wanted y'all. Okay? Now, before we even get into this, I don't know if this is going to copyright or not, um, which might be redundant, because if it does copyright, then you're not going to see it. But, um... And I'm in hopes that it doesn't. I'm going to react to all the Instagram versions of it. And uh, the other versions we're going to put on the Patreon. Normally, we react to the whole thing when Krishan does it and put it on Patreon. So if y'all want to tap into Patreon, hit the link in the description. And it, we definitely going to react to that because it was it seemed like it was a great interview. Um, So that's what we're going to do. In the meantime, in between time, let's get to these Instagram ones. And I'm going to do a few the few that I can find, especially to see if it's going to be a copyright or not. This is Krishan speaking about that mic That situation. shit was so weird. I, like, deactivated my page, like, because it was, like, not even just that. I I hate when um my baby father, he speak up against me like I'm not carrying his kid. So it just be a lot on me. Like, everybody want to use me as clickbait. I, I've been backing up from that shit. Mm. I haven't been on no toxic shit lately. <laughs> Krishan. <laughs> Tamar Braxton. Should I say that? I didn't get into nothing. I went somewhere, I was invited, and then I was set up. Okay. Like, I was supposed to perform. I'm like, all right, bad, she have a show. Well, she invited me, sent her numbers. Get there, uh, they hang me a mic. My question to y'all is, why would she lie about being handed a mic? My next question is, why would they lie about not giving her a mic? For those in the back that don't understand, that takes away from James if she really did whoop that man ass. I mean, because a lot of y'all not getting it, and it, it's it's like, why don't y'all get it? You know what I'm saying? But since y'all don't, I'm going to say it again. Why would she not get a mic if she was invited to come perform? A. B. Why if she had to shake her ass, why wouldn't she have a mic to say who the hell she was? Why would Krishan be invited to not have a mic? I could have been with Chris Brown. That was number three. Number four. James, if in the event he did get punched in the face, uh, them lying about the fact that she had the mic fucked up the entire cred credibility. If y'all don't get it, I don't know what to tell you because I'm over it anyway. I get the mic. I'm like, hey, hey. Like, I don't know why my music ain't playing yet. I'm not used to this. I usually get brought up by Glorilla, Sexy Red. This was my first. <laughs> she said, like, bigger people. <laughs> first experience ever feeling like trying to be embarrassed. Like, I thought it was, like, set up purposely to make me feel, like, I don't know, less of myself. And she's older. So you felt attacked? I for sure did. That shit was so weird. I, like, deactivated my page. Like, because it was, like. So here's my next question to y'all. Why she go on Jason Lee and didn't show her ass? Why does she go to um, Cam Newton and not show her ass? And y'all might say, because they're men, uh, baby. Tamar's whole production was full of men. Remember, it was three men in the room and Tamar. Let's not forget that. Mind you, allegedly, if she punched anybody, it wasn't Tamar either. So my point is, uh, y'all know in, in, in uncomfortable situations, she does lash out and get to whooping ass. Okay. So I want to know down in the comments, what do y'all think about this mic situation? Because it is a huge debacle. Okay. And quite frankly, I'm sick of it. Now, next topic, Tommy is at the damn game with Tamar's man. <laughs> what the fuck? So I did not cover Tamar and, uh, Tommy going back and forth because at the time it was just so much going on. I just didn't even know how to put all that together. To be honest with y'all, remember I am new, not true to this. Okay. So I'm doing the best that I can, but Tommy is at the game with Tamar's man. Now, for those that don't know, Tamar absolutely called Tommy a cokehead. Okay. Uh, somebody like it. <laughs> Somebody like it. Uh, she at the game with her man. And then Patty is That Louis Vuitton is crazy. Uh, I had no idea. Chrome's bracelets, Rolex on the going crazy. I had no idea he was a um a lawyer. Yeah, I had no idea. And I might be lying about them charms too. Honey sauce, what you said them charms was? 
the charms with the crosses. What are they called? It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Wait, what? Van Cleef. Uh, That's what they're talking about. about. Uh, uh, so yeah, Tamar and Tommy Lee trade shots. Yes. Yeah, so this was that situation, and it was just talking about coke and a whole bunch of stuff. Basically, Tommy and Tamar was going back and forth because Tommy was on Krishan's side, and um, yeah, everybody was actually on Krishan's side. <laughs> Tamar's boyfriend definitely was acting as if he was going to help. What's his name? Um, LaTroy with suing Krishan, but suddenly is at the game with Tamar. Oh, not Tamar, but Tommy. So I don't know. I don't know. I want to know what y'all think down in the comment section below, though. That's petty. And that was that was just petty. And shout out to Tommy, though, for being petty. No cap. Um... Tommy Lee seemingly laughs at her own antics following her hanging out with Jeremy Robinson. <laughs> Tommy said, baby, this is chess, not checkers. Y'all, it's so much going on, bruh. I can't just talk about Krishan for this entire time. Oh, fucking Kate Cassie. Uh, settles the settlement with Diddy. Why? Now, for those that don't know all those allegations and stuff, I did put that on Patreon. Y'all make sure y'all check it out. Why? Why would she settle? Sean Holmes and the singer Cassie have reached a settlement just one day after she filed an explosive lawsuit accusing the hip-hop mogul of R-wording and numerous instances of physical abuse. Now, this is the reason why I don't want this on my damn screen. But with that being said, uh, sis, you better, and I mean better, had that 30-plus million, okay? It's like she said, you know what? If he don't want to give me the bread, I'm going to take him to court, and I know he's going to settle for something. Maybe she didn't get $30 million, but I know she didn't get less than fifteen. That's for sure. So maybe, you know, the lawyers did they big one with this. Maybe not. Uh, she did have a, a very descriptive version of what happened to her, and uh, I can, you know, react to that, but it's definitely going on the Patreon it is not going on this YouTube channel. These allegations are just entirely too terrible. You know what I'm saying? For me to put them on um, YouTube. However, uh, I want to know what y'all think down in the comment section below, especially with that mic situation. Um, do y'all think Krishan was handing the mic or y'all still mad? Uh, that's number one. Number two, um, do y'all think Tommy is trifling for being out with Tamar's ex-man? Okay. And do you think Cassie should have just rolled this out for two days, two more days? All right. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.